There's a bit of a buzz because very initial early trials of this J&J one-shot vaccine are, are looking okay. How far away are we f from this actually passing all the tests needed to be able to be administered? Yes, good morning. Um, well, the J&J data that was just re released in the New England Journal of Medicine was basically demonstrating its early safety and preliminary efficacy data. It's called a phase 1A or 2 trial. And in this study, they basically found that uh, a single dose of an adenovirus vector vaccine, it cannot replicate inside your body, but using that as the vector to get the antibody uh, into the body, uh, produced after about 57 days immunity or enough neutralizing antibody in about 100 uh, percent of participants. Um, again, that's one dose after about um, 57 days. So that's good news. Jason, I want to talk about vaccination in the real world of nursing. Do we have the nurses to do vaccines or are they so exhausted they can't be part of that process? Is our nationwide and indeed our global nursing ability fractured? Well, I think it's a, an all hands on deck approach right now. And so um, we, because of our inpatient capacity, the number of hospital beds taken from COVID, you know, we're not looking at our inpatient nurses or other healthcare providers to really provide that vaccine surge. So we're looking at outpatient providers, retired nurses, pharmacists, EMTs, anyone basically who has the skill set to administer a vaccine and give an injection. Uh, so what, what we're doing is many states across the country are preparing through their medical response corps. I know I just signed up as an added volunteer in my own medical response Response Corps here in Maryland. So I would encourage any healthcare worker out there listening yeah. right now to go to their state site and sign up. Can I ask a dumb question? Is it hard to give a shot? Like when you learn to do a shot, is it like a real skill? Certainly. Um, when we're looking in, uh, to assessing the site, um, obviously people know that we give shots sometimes in the arm, sometimes in the buttocks. Um, it's all about the volume given in the injection. So you'll see these shots being given in the arm because they're a smaller volume. You want to make sure you're not hitting blood vessels. You want to make sure you're not hitting a nerve. So placement of the injection in the muscle is a key. Also, depending on the length of the needle, you definitely do not want to hit the person's bone. That will cause pain. So there's several things you're thinking from a technique perspective that have to be part of your training. Um, Jason, what's the hardest thing right now to administer the vaccine? Right now, it's the, the supply. Um, there are many people who want vaccine but do not yet qualify in many states for accessing the vaccine. Um, for example, I have been getting emails from a, an 88-year-old retired nurse who is desperate to find her access to the vaccine, but based on our local policies and procedures, she's not yet in that top tier of individuals because of her overall healthy status, as well as not living in a long-term care facility. Many, many people want the vaccine, but they just don't have access to it yet. So that's first. Second, we're hearing reports of um, vaccine distribution uh, slow, uh, plus um, not only the distribution, but the setup of large scale distribution points uh, has been slow to respond. So if we're thinking in the first 100 days of the Biden administration that we will get to those 100 million doses, it will be an extremely large uphill battle given that it's been about 10 million doses over two months at this point.